Antarctic Treaty System, Wikipedia Article Audio The Antarctic Treaty and Related Agreements, collectively known as the Antarctic Treaty System, regulate international relations with respect to Antarctica, Earth's only continent without a native human population. For the purposes of the treaty system, Antarctica is defined as all of the land and ice shelves south of 60 degrees south latitude. The treaty entered into force in 1961 and currently has 53 parties. The treaty sets aside Antarctica as a scientific preserve, establishes freedom of scientific investigation and bans military activity on the continent. The treaty was the first arms control agreement established during the Cold War. Since September 2004, the Antarctic Treaty Secretariat headquarters has been located in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The main treaty was opened for signature on December 1, 1959, and officially entered into force on June 23, 1961. The original signatories were the 12 countries active in Antarctica during the International Geophysical Year of 1957-58. The 12 countries that had significant interests in Antarctica at the time were, Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Chile, France, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom and the United States. These countries had established over 50 Antarctic stations for the IGY. The treaty was a diplomatic expression of the operational and scientific cooperation that had been achieved on the ice. Articles of the Antarctic Treaty Other Agreements the main objective of the ATS is to ensure in the interests of all humankind that Antarctica shall continue forever to be used exclusively for peaceful purposes and shall not become the scene or object of international discord. Pursuant to Article 1, the treaty forbids any measures of a military nature, but not the presence of military personnel or equipment for the purposes of scientific research. Other agreements Some 200 recommendations adopted at treaty consultative meetings and ratified by governments include The Antarctic Treaty System's yearly Antarctic Treaty consultative meetings are the International Forum for the Administration and Management of the Region. Only 29 of the 53 parties to the agreements have the right to participate in decision-making at these meetings though the other 24 are still allowed to attend. The decision-making participants are the consultative parties and, in addition to the 12 original signatories, include 17 countries that have demonstrated their interest in Antarctica by carrying out substantial scientific activity there. As of 2015, there are 53 states party to the treaty, 29 of which, including all 12 original signatories to the treaty, have consultative status. Consultative members include the seven nations that claim portions of Antarctica as national territory. The 46 non-claimant nations either do not recognize the claims of others, or have not stated their positions. Note, the table can be sorted alphabetically or chronologically using the icon. Bilateral Treaties East Germany also acceded on November 19, 1974, and received consultative status on October 5, 1987, prior to its reunification with West Germany. Asterisk Claims Overlap, Reserved the Right to Claim Areas Meetings the Antarctic Treaty Secretariat was established in Buenos Aires, Argentina in September 2004 by the Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting. Jan Huber served as the first Executive Secretary for five years until August 31, 2009. 
he was succeeded on September 1, 2009, by Manfred Reinke. The tasks of the Antarctic Treaty Secretariat can be divided into the following areas. Antarctica currently has no permanent population and therefore it has no citizenship nor government. All personnel present on Antarctica at any time are citizens or nationals of some sovereignty outside Antarctica, as there is no Antarctic sovereignty. The majority of Antarctica is claimed by one or more countries, but most countries do not explicitly recognize those claims. The area on the mainland between 90 degrees west and 150 degrees west is the only major land on Earth not claimed by any country. Until 2015 the interior of the Norwegian sector, the extent of which had never been officially defined, was considered to be unclaimed. That year, Norway formally laid claim to the area between its Queen Maud land and the South Pole. Parties Governments that are party to the Antarctic Treaty and its Protocol on Environmental Protection implement the articles of these agreements, and decisions taken under them, through national laws. These laws generally apply only to their own citizens, wherever they are in Antarctica, and serve to enforce the consensus decisions of the consultative parties, about which activities are acceptable which areas require permits to enter, what processes of environmental impact assessment must precede activities, and so on. The Antarctic Treaty is often considered to represent an example of the common heritage of mankind principle. Antarctic Treaty Secretariat since the designation of the Australian Antarctic Territory predated the signing of the Antarctic Treaty, Australian laws that relate to Antarctica date from more than two decades before the Antarctic Treaty era. In terms of criminal law, the laws that apply to the Jervis Bay Territory apply to the Australian Antarctic Territory. Key Australian legislation applying Antarctic Treaty system decisions include the Antarctic Treaty Act 1960, the Antarctic Treaty Act 1980 and the Antarctic Marine Living Resources Conservation Act 1981. Legal System The law of the United States, including certain criminal offenses by or against U.S. nationals, such as murder, may apply to areas not under jurisdiction of other countries. To this end, the United States now stations Special Deputy U.S. Marshals in Antarctica to provide a law enforcement presence. Some U.S. laws directly apply to Antarctica. For example, the Antarctic Conservation Act, Public Law 95-541, 16 U.S.C. 2401 ETSEQ provides civil and criminal penalties for the following activities, unless authorized by regulation or statute. Australia Violation of the Antarctic Conservation Act carries penalties of up to US$10,000 in fines and one year in prison. The departments of the Treasury, Commerce, Transportation and the Interior share enforcement responsibilities. The Act requires expeditions from the U.S. to Antarctica to notify, in advance, the Office of Oceans and Polar Affairs of the State Department, which reports such plans to other nations as required by the Antarctic Treaty. Further information is provided by the Office of Polar Programs of the National Science Foundation. In 2006, the New Zealand police reported that jurisdictional issues prevented them issuing warrants for potential American witnesses who were reluctant to testify during the Christchurch coroner's investigation into the death by poisoning of Australian astrophysicist Rodney Marks at the South Pole base in May 2000. 
Dr. Marx died while wintering over at the United States Amundsen Scott South Pole Station located at the geographic South Pole. Prior to autopsy, the death was attributed to natural causes by the National Science Foundation and the contractor administering the base. However, an autopsy in New Zealand revealed that Dr. Marx died from methanol poisoning. The New Zealand police launched an investigation. In 2006, frustrated by lack of progress, the Christchurch coroner said that it was unlikely that Dr. Marx ingested the methanol knowingly, although there is no certainty that he died as the direct result of the act of another person. During media interviews, the police detective in charge of the investigation criticized the National Science Foundation and contractor Raytheon for failing to cooperate with the investigation. South African law applies to all South African citizens in Antarctica, and they are subject to the jurisdiction of the Magistrates' Court in Cape Town. In regard to violations of the Antarctic Treaty and related agreements, South Africa also asserts jurisdiction over South African residents and members of expeditions organized in South Africa. United States New Zealand Agreed Measures for the Conservation of Antarctic Fauna and Flora, the Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Seals, the Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources, the Convention on the Regulation of Antarctic Mineral Resource Activities, the Protocol on Environmental Protection to the Antarctic Treaty was signed October 4, 1991, and entered into force January 14, 1998. This agreement prevents development and provides for the protection of the Antarctic environment. Through five specific annexes on marine pollution, fauna, and flora, environmental impact assessments, waste management, and protected areas. It prohibits all activities relating to mineral resources except scientific. A sixth annex on liability arising from environmental emergencies was adopted in 2005, but is yet to enter into force. Supporting the annual Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting and the Meeting of the Committee for Environmental Protection, facilitating the exchange of information between the parties required in the Treaty and the Environment Protocol, collecting, storing, arranging, and publishing the documents of the ATCM, providing and disseminating public information about the Antarctic Treaty system and Antarctic activities. South Africa The taking of native Antarctic mammals or birds, the introduction into Antarctica of non-indigenous plants and animals, entry into specially protected or scientific areas, the discharge or disposal of pollutants into Antarctica or Antarctic waters, the importation into the U.S. of certain items from Antarctica.